Kwai Kwai. Taking that deep breath. Saying yes to life. Wherever you are, I meet you in La Ketch. I am another yourself. We are one with all our relations. In one energetic soup. The dragonfly that flew by a moment ago reminded me once again that looks are, looks are deceiving. You know, there's just so much more going on than meets the eye. So being out there, holding the space for those vision questers, really underlined how important it is. Oh, hi, Mr. Crow. That's a story right there. The crows and the ravens, they really are, they cross the, um, the threshold between the dark and the light. And we're portals too, portals Yeah, portals from the infinite. So that vision quest reminded me that consistently pausing and taking breaks from ordinary <laughs> The phrase that comes to mind is motor consciousness, like motor mind. Taking breaks from our things to do list. From, yeah, from just time is money. And, um, yeah, consistently uh, contradicting the, the narrative of being a human doing. Um, contradicting it by shamanic journeying, by meditation, if it's your thing, psychedelics. And pausing in the present moment. Noticing this uh, non-dual awareness, if you want, where there's no separate things. And realizing that reason and logic are fine tools. They're wonderful tools, but they're one small, yeah, one, one little band in this yeah un unending ma unend the <laughs> levels of magnitude of intelligences and dimensions and possibilities i think spending a bunch of time looking at the stars uh, does that too. So it's it's just um, contradiction is kind of a strongish word. It's not going against anything. It's not going against our logical mind, our rational mind. It's just stepping out of the mind stream on a regular basis through those means that I mentioned before singing, chanting, making art, being by the fire, 
yeah, the beautiful, holy, sexual play. These are all ways, because, you know, there is definitely a, um, people get very rich by, um, certain people get very rich by um, insisting that we all be work slaves. And there's nothing wrong with work, there's nothing wrong with money, but when it's, when the commercial paradigm is kind of like all there is, then there's definitely something wrong with this picture. And it definitely, um, yeah, it destroys the biosphere, that mindset. So there's a million good reasons to shift out of the default mode of consciousness as the only mode of consciousness. So I hope this finds you well. Thanks for listening to today's message and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.